Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. Rosh Hashanah is coming up this week, along with dipping apples and honey. Speaking of dipping, today we'll be doing a lot of that as we prepare the cutest apple cake pops you've likely ever seen. Here are the supplies and ingredients we will need. A medium sized mixing bowl with four ounces of sponge cake, a spoon, cream cheese, and for par of cake pops use par of cream cheese, apple pie filling, white chocolate chips or red candy melts, chocolate sprinkles, small mint leaves, red food coloring if you're using white chocolate, cake pop sticks, and lastly, a tray lined with parchment paper. Let's begin. Crumble the sponge cake in a medium sized mixing bowl, add about a tablespoon of cream cheese and integrate it into the mixture. Add a bit more if you see that it is needed. Do you know why we dip our apples specifically in bee honey? Why not dip them in sugar? The answer to our question lies in the fact that a bee stings, but also makes honey. Let's explain. Imagine you went to bed one night with a pounding headache, making it difficult to fall asleep. It's hard to relax or take your mind off of it. You wish the headache would go away. You whisper to Hashem, please make this go away. Add about a tablespoon of apple pie filling as well as cream cheese and mix it in thoroughly. The goal is to reach a moist consistency that holds together when pressed into a ball. Wonder of wonders, when you wake up in the morning, the headache is gone. You feel energetic, light, and ready to take on the day. Hashem took away your pain and turned it into good health. Roll the mixture in one and a half inch balls and place them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Use the end of a cake pop stick to carve a small cavity at the top of each ball to resemble the top of an apple. Place the cake balls into the freezer to harden. Meanwhile, with adult supervision, melt about a cup of white chocolate chips over a bowl of simmering water. Add a small amount of oil if the mixture is too thick. Stir in a couple of drops of red food coloring until the chocolate becomes an even wet. Alternatively, you can melt red candy melts. Dip the end of a cake pop stick into the melted chocolate and insert it into the top of a cake ball. People have all types of challenges. For one person, it may mean dealing with a sickness, whether a minor one, as in our example, or chas a more major one. Dip the cake ball into the melted chocolate. Make sure it is coated on all sides, though if there is too much coating, gently shake off the excess. Stand it on the parchment paper lined baking sheet to allow the coating to set. Do the same for the rest of the cake balls. Next, top each cake pop with a single chocolate sprinkle to serve as a stem. Another person may be challenged with not having enough money to pay for all their expenses, and another may have a difficult relationship with someone at school or at home. For the finishing touch, attach a mint leaf to each apple by dipping the end of each leaf into melted chocolate and securely attaching it to the cake pot. Make sure the mint leaves have been washed and checked for bugs. On Rosh Hashanah, at the start of the new year, we dip an apple into honey specifically from a bee that stings. This reminds us that this is a time to ask Hashem to sweeten our stings, our challenges, whatever they may be, and turn them into honey, into goodness and sweetness. What challenges do you face that you want to ask Hashem to sweeten this year? Place the cake pops in the fridge to firm up and store them until you're ready to serve them. Enjoy! Don't forget a bracha. We'll see you back again next week. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.